Yo guys, what up? Franchise here, coming to you today, we got some advanced warfare gameplay and it's going to be kind of my preliminary impressions of the game because the game just came out today. I got it at midnight on Monday, November 3rd. I got the Day Zero Edition, pre-ordered it through Xbox, which is which was my first time never going to a midnight release for Call of Duty in the last like three or four years, which is crazy, man. I normally always do that, but... You know, I don't really like customer service at GameStop. <laughs> I hate really dealing with that store. And now you can pre-order through the console and they release it on, you know, midnight, which normally you have to wait till like three, but this year it was different. And real quick, this is something I also want, I heard that happened. There was this glitch where you were actually able to set your time to New Zealand time or like Australia time and get the game like seven hours early and download it and play it, which is fucking crazy. If I would have known that, I would have probably had a commentary and some gameplay I would have been prestige one already more than likely um this gameplay in the background you're watching some TDM on Detroit I'm using an SMG at the KF5 I have, I'm running three attachments on this I'm still trying to get used to the weapons in this game and I just want to say first off that this game is not a game that you're gonna be able to pick up and just do well I mean I've had moments where I've done really well and I've had moments that I've done really bad and I believe that just everybody's still getting used to the game. The spawns are kind of fucking crazy, like they always are at the beginning of the year. Nobody knows where they're going. There's no hotspots on maps yet. You know, over the next few weeks, that's going to start to happen. And, you know, over the next few weeks, I'm going to get my real impression of the game, and I will post a more further commentary related to that. So stick around for that later sometime in the next few weeks. But Advanced Warfare, man, let's talk about some of the positives here, because I like to be a positive person. The positives are it is fun to play. No matter how bad I'm doing, I, there's been some games, I've not been like super negative once. I've been, I mean, I've went under, you know, positive a few times, but mo most of the time I'm pretty positive, but just with a lot of deaths. It's hard to stay alive in this game, but nonetheless, the movement and mobility of everything is exactly what I thought it would be. It's one of those games that if you're not moving around, man, you're going to die a lot. And if you're moving around too much, you're going to die a lot. You got to find that happy medium between... You know, using your exo abilities and your exo movement with just traditional movement. I feel like there's a lot of people now that are just jetpacking all over the fucking place and, you know, you're getting destroyed because you're just trying to move around too much. And especially if you don't have certain perks on which there are certain perks that counter your movement shown on the minimap. I haven't really messed around with a lot of perks yet, so I'm going to save a lot of my judgment about perks and stuff like that until I really get through full prestige, start using different weapons, and start playing with different perks. So I'll be more educated about things like that soon. Like I said, I kind of went off a tangent there. The game is fucking fun to play. There's a lot of movement. It's fast paced. The other thing I really like about the game is, in my opinion, the weapon balance is interesting because SMGs can't map you. Like, it's a close range weapon. Like, in other previous Call of Duties, you could use an SMG and dominate. And especially on a map like Detroit, which is a small close quarter map, SMGs are favorable. And, you know, some of the attachments are kind of cool how you get them. You have to do challenges, like you have to hit fire to get this attachment, you have to get headshots to get this attachment. I really like having things to do to get weapons that's not the regular norm of just this many kills, you get this attachment after this amount of time. Like, you know, that stuff gets boring. I also really like the loot drops because it gives you a chance to get higher weapons or different crazy weird weapons based on the specs of regular weapons. I do thoroughly enjoy that. and. I want to wrap that into also that I really do enjoy the maps of this game so far. There hasn't been, there's only been like one or two maps that I've been questionable about, just because the spawns are kind of weird on some of the maps. Some of the negatives of this game so far are obviously the connection. <laughs> the first few weeks any Call of Duty game comes out is terrible. I've had moments where I've had amazing connection. Like you might see me check my my scoreboard a lot in this game. It's not because I'm checking my score. I'm actually checking the connection because this year you can actually see your ping, which is helpful to me. I can kind of see what's going on, but it's really frustrating knowing, you know, my badass internet connection is just, it's not really doing anything for me in this game, and that just goes to show you that I feel like, I don't know why, companies still go PvP on next gen, you know, PvP servers, I'm sorry, period, period servers, on next gen, they need to just go dedicated to be done with it, games like Battlefield, you know, they have dedicated servers, they don't have issues like that, like Call of Duty does, I feel like, until they figure that out, connection will always be a problem. And the spawns, man. I've played a bunch of different game modes. I've played Hardpoint where the spawns are perfect in Hardpoint. If you hold a Hardpoint and you kill an enemy, they spawn on the other side of the map. It's symmetrical. That makes sense. TDM spawns are just fucking all over the place. You see me at one point spawn in here. I spawn in the line of sight of somebody getting shot. I, I spawn behind a teammate 
who's getting shot by an enemy and I died right away. Like, little things like that are kind of questionable. Also, the kill streaks in this game, from what I've used so far, have been honestly terrible. Do yourself a favor right now, until everybody figures out some score streaks, just run a UAV. Give yourself some extra points, run a UAV, you know, take off the grenades, take off the secondaries, because that stuff just doesn't really work too well right now. Or at least from my experience, it doesn't. But I hope you guys have enjoyed kind of my early impressions of the game. Like, the game is so much fun right now, but I don't want to say I'm in love with it because I want to see what happens over the next few weeks. I want to prestige. I want to see what people start to exploit. And, you know, I just want to get more familiar with the game to give an honest, educated opinion of the game. But for right now, my very first impression is that the game is a lot of fun. But I hope you guys have enjoyed this commentary. Leave a like, it helps me grow, and I will be live streaming later on today after this video goes up, so keep a lookout for that on my Twitch. I'll, my Twitch is always in the description, but for now guys, I'll talk to you later. I'm out. Peace.